Well, good morning. You know, the Bible says that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Time to real danger. This is Pastor Hayton, another Lower Lights devotional. And I haven't said too much about the events that have happened in Paris, France here on our devotional time, but we're all very much aware of the devastating terrorist act that was perpetrated upon the residents there and the grieving people that are so sorrowful over the loss of loved ones. Just thinking about, what, 129 or 30 that have lost their lives, and I know that each one of them had extended family, no doubt. And so those that are grieving probably extends into the many, many hundreds of people that are grieving over the loss of loved ones through such a senseless attack. And I know that uh, the threat is ever-present, you watch the news, keep up on what's going on. They're telling us that uh, it's very likely that there will be further, f further uh, t terrorist attacks and, and uh, probably right here on our own homeland of the United States of America, we probably are going to see uh, terrible things happening in the days to come. So we are certainly aware today that we're living in times of real danger. Not one of us are safe, not only from the terrorist attacks, but the crime rate. You saw on the news day here in our beloved city of Kansas City, where there have been 90 homicides this year. And uh, so we just never know, do we, when uh, that uh, perilous time is going to get close to home and perhaps snuff out our life or change our life completely through the uh, injuries or uh, that may be inflicted upon us. But you know, as bad as those terrorist attacks are, and as much damage as they do, as much fear as they instill within us, and I don't think that any of us can be safe from fear, uh, knowing what we know, but I think even further than that is that uh, we have an enemy today that is seeking out our spiritual and personal destruction, and that enemy is Satan. Now we can see the enemy that is launching the terrorist attacks, that's flesh and blood. And yet the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and, and against the powers of darkness. We know that Satan himself has launched a terrific attack against every Christian. Now the Bible tells us through the words of Christ our Lord, uh, Fear not him that is able to destroy your body, but do fear him that is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. And so our greatest threat today is from our enemy Satan. He walketh about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He's just looking out for his next prey to bring us down spiritually, to defeat us and to destroy our soul. And so we've got to be aware that we have an, a greater enemy than that of the uh, ter terrorist. We have an enemy that has been a terror down across the years of time that has wrought havoc among the people of God and in the church of God. We've got a, a enemy that has wrecked a lot of t terror in our uh, society today, and we've got to fear Satan. I'm not ignorant of his devices, and I want to be on guard. I put you today on the highest possible alert that Satan is out there to strike at a moment's notice and to destroy us spiritually, to take us down in spiritual defeat. So be on guard against Satan today. Oh yes, be aware of your surroundings and know that there's an ever-present danger of a terrorist attack, but know that there is a constant danger of a satanic attack. Heavenly Father, Satan is out to destroy all of us. He's out to defeat us spiritually, to destroy our relationship and fellowship with God. Help us, Lord, to be aware of the way that Satan is working, to do all that we can to avoid him. Now bless us throughout this day. Keep your hand upon us and make us a blessing. In Christ's name, amen. All right, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow on Lower Light's Devotional. Goodbye now.